My name's Barbara and I've been inspired by watching all the other videos of people recounting their experiences during this farcical lockdown and um, about the way it's changing society, which is, is the saddest thing to bear, is to see that people aren't relating to each other in the same way. I choose not to wear a mask. When I go shopping, uh, no one yet has challenged me about it, but I will not wear a mask. I am a former nurse, I'm a retired nurse, I'm now a writer, and I am very well aware of methods of cross-infection and contamination. So obviously I'm very careful. But this lockdown, in my opinion, is not justified I was an A and E uh, nurse practitioner, and I I looked after people through many flu epidemics during the late nineties and early two thousands. Really poorly people, and I can't prove it, but I'm pretty sure the death rate was higher than it is for this particular virus. So we didn't close the world down for that. Now I have a message of hope for people, hopefully, because I think there's something going on in the background. And I think it's ultimately for the good of the world. Many people may not agree with me, but the reason I'm saying that is because I've been following the events for three and a half years now. And I have a grasp of what's really going on. And maybe we have to suffer through this until the world emerges on the other side of the abyss, renewed, richer, safer, happier. And I might make another video to tell you why I believe those things. But please don't despair. Don't be angry. If you want to wear a mask, wear one. If you don't want to wear a mask, don't wear one. Just be aware that if you wear a mask, you're lowering the oxygen concentration in your bloodstream. And uh, yesterday, when I was coming back from a bike ride up a slight hill, I saw an old gentleman who was struggling to walk with his walking stick, really out of breath. And he had a thick mask on. So I asked this gentleman, I stopped my bike and I asked this gentleman, are you having problems? And he said, oh, he said, I can't breathe. I said, well, why have you got a mask on? And he said, oh, well, my wife makes me wear it. And I said, but I can see that you're struggling to breathe. And it looks to me as if you have COPD, which is chronic obstructive pulmonary disease. And he said, yes, how did you know? I said, I just know. During the course of our conversation, I persuaded him to lower his mask and to take, there was, it was in the countryside, so there was nobody else around. I encouraged him to take some deep breaths of fresh air. And it was a joy to me, an absolute joy, to see that his slightly cyanotic features, they pinked up. He got a blush in his cheeks because he was taking in that God provided oxygen. And I'm not a religious person. I like to think I'm spiritual, but I'm not banging a religious drum here. His lungs were able to get what was needed for him to function properly. Anyway, he asked for my phone number so he could validate the reason why he wasn't going to wear the mask, which he's exempt from anyway with that condition, to his wife. Uh, I gave him my phone number. I haven't heard. So I can only assume that he got the message across. So please just all hang on in there and um, don't be in despair. Don't be following mainstream me media because that all that's pushing is fear, fear, fear. And that in itself will lower the immune system. It's, it's absolutely scientifically proven that it will lower your um, 
T cells if you're in constant stress and producing cortisol and adrenaline and other stress hormones. It's not good at all. Just live your life. Live your life like you normally would and try and rise above all that's happening around us. That's my advice today anyway. And um, I might consider making another video about why I believe this with all my heart. Thank you.